we are here and we are getting ready. Hey Shannon! Okay. Can you give everybody a second to join? Hey Annie! Okay. So we are here and this is our last segment of the day. Trying to get Annie on here. Here we go. Um, so, so excited. Ah, hello. Hi. How so are you? you. Good. It's good to so see good. you too. I have a special surprise before we start. Okay, Ooh, ready? I love surprises. Oh, shut up. You have one? I have, I have three. <laughs> I got that when you were so competing for Miss America. That's, that's actually hilarious because I wore, let me grab it, I wore one yesterday. Really? I have um, a white long sleeve, a gray long sleeve, and then the gray and the short sleeve. I oh my god, it. I have, yep, I have it. I love it. <laughs> that's too that's so funny. funny. I'm just trying to tip the camera down it. I have a uh, makeshift, I have my ring light, but I thought, this is the first time I've used it, and I thought it had um, a little stand to hold the uh, phone. It does not, so we have it taped. <laughs> you gotta make do with what you have, yeah, right? Exactly, right? So, thank you so, so much for going live with us. I am so excited. It is 8.09, we're a little late, but we got the whole 30 minutes. I'm so excited. So Amazing. Okay, I'm going to just type in. So thank you, everyone, for joining. We're here with Annie Jorgensen, and um, we are going to be doing hair. And she's going to yeah. be sharing some of her I got this tips. I'm so, so excited. Thank you, everyone, who's joining in. I'm going to just get the caption ready. My phone, we were live for like an hour on my phone, and it died. So that's why we're... Making I'm do. amazed your phone is still alive after a full day of Instagram living. Yeah, so I have, luckily, my mom let me borrow hers for <laughs> the second half. Um, the one went into the refrigerator to cool down for a second and uh, <laughs> is going to be charging. So here we go. Okay, there's our comment. Gonna well, it's going to charge. Okay, so good. My mom says hi. Hey! Okay, <laughs> okay so I'm going to give a little intro. So... Um, so I am so excited to be here with Annie Jorgensen. She is so incredible. And um, I'm going to be doing a hair look with her and some amazing, here we go, found your bio. I'm all set. <laughs> so um, my name is Christina Lachal. I got the girl with the big pink heart. I'm a Glamour Gals ambassador. And uh, Glamour Gals is such an amazing organization that connects um, girls in girls and guys in high school and college with senior centers and nursing homes to do makeovers and manicures and really can create a, an amazing connection with them. So we're joined here with Annie Jorgensen. She is um, former Miss Georgia 2018, and that's how I met her, um, down at Quest Fest with Girl Scouts down in Savannah, Georgia, when I performed down there. And uh, that was such a special event. I'm so excited to be here with you. She's competed at Miss America, and she's honestly going to be the amazing one to go to with all the hair tips and right now you are working at small girls pr in new york city not currently in new york city um <laughs> but um we are gonna have so much fun today and let's go yeah thank you so much for having me and it was so fun meeting you now i guess two years ago in savannah at the girl scouts quest fest and so it was fun to connect there and yeah. see where our lives have taken us but yes yeah, so i'm going right. to teach you all how to do an easy everyday glam you can dress it up you can dress it down hair tutorial and all you need is four items the first i guess five because you need your hair but the first, you need a curling iron of some kind. This is a Hot Tools Pro one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron. Mm -hmm. um, I like one and a quarter inch. It provides like a good loose curl that's not too tight, but it's not too loose. I also like one and a half inch barrels if you want a little bit of a looser curl. But a good rule of th thumb for curling irons is the smaller the barrel, the tighter the curl. So one and a quarter inch is prime, just like a good middle of the road type. You need a brush, you need some hairspray, and you need dry shampoo. Um, and if you ever check out my blog, I talk a lot about how I don't wash my hair very often. And I, I actually... 
Yeah, so I wash my hair roughly about once a week, and today happened to be the day that I washed it. Um, so I washed my hair this morning, and I say this because when you blow dry your hair to curl it for an event that you want the curls to last for a long time, it's really important the way that you blow dry your hair so you can prep it the best way to last throughout the night and for days. Um, so first you want to use a heat protectant of any kind. They have spray heat protectants. I like a good like gel cream mousse type. I also use a volumizing mousse where you put it everywhere. And then I use root pump, obviously on my roots. And then um, sometimes like my hair has been really dry in quarantine because it's really long and needs a haircut. I don't know about y'all. I, um, I just did a haircut yesterday. My hair was even longer. My mom just cut <laughs> Oh my she gosh, cut like crazy. this much off. It's the longest it's ever been. Um, oh but my it's, gosh. Yeah. It, yeah, it is still so long. But I've been putting yeah. oil at the bottom of my hair. I use Moroccan okay. oil. Also, Kerastase is one of my favorite types of hair oils. But honestly, yeah. if you don't have either of those and you have olive oil or avocado oil in your kitchen, just use like literally the tiniest drop you don't need much at all and then just put it on the ends and that's you're good to go. That's the perfect way to prep your hair. Oh and now God. we start yeah, the yeah. process. Yeah, so so we're going to start by first finding your part in your hair, wherever naturally or wherever you want to style that night for your hair is you're going to want to part it. Okay. And you're going to take your dry shampoo first. Okay. I don't have any. I'm going to let you do that part. That's okay. You can also use hairspray for this phase too. Okay. If you don't have dry shampoo. And so you take around the part, you're going to work your way around the part and just section okay. off a little bit spray a little bit okay and then work around here and do a little bit layers so since i have more hair on this side i do two layers of dry shampoo and just one and okay. then at the crown of your head just take a little section and go under there and the really important thing when it comes to using dry shampoo anytime but especially when you're styling it is you don't want to mess with it right when you spray it in you want to let it sit for a second and soak in the oils before you touch it so if you guys have any questions for us in the comments now would be the perfect time to ask a question um yeah. but otherwise you just take a little second and you know what if anyone doesn't have a question i have some questions oh perfect let me find my question sheet for you I can find my questions. I will find them. <laughs> no worries. I have uh, everything printed. Here we go. Found it. They're on a separate sheet. Okay. Amazing. So um, while we're waiting for that stuff to dry, um, tell us a little bit about your I got this program, your I got this movement. I'm so excited. I actually have another prop to bring in. You got this, Annie. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it's it. Cool. Actually, it's I love so many people still to this day will DM me or text me pictures of things like pillows or t-shirts or mugs that say I got this on it. And I love it every yeah. time someone sends me that photo. So thank you for sharing that. But yes, so as Miss Georgia, um, or as a title holder in the Miss America organization as a whole, um, part of that job is to promote a platform of your choosing. And so I developed the I Got This program to teach confidence with young girls, specifically through the Girl Scouts of the United States, but confidence in general. And so I developed I Got This because I realized that anytime you feel most confident, you're more likely to say, I got this. Like if you're holding a bunch of things and it's really heavy and someone asks you for help, you're, you can say like, no, I got this. Or if you're walking into an event, a class presentation, an interview, and you're nervous, but you believe in yourself, you can say, I got this. And that's all that matters. Um, so now that the dry shampoo has been soaking in for a little bit, now is when you want to massage it in. So okay. this is pretty much like you're lathering the shampoo into your hair, but okay. obviously you're not in the shower. So just lather it in just a little bit. I use hairspray, so I'm just gonna think it's good. Perfect. And that's all it takes. And now before we even start curling, um, you're going to tease your hair again so you get a good, nice, voluminous lift. So you take your brush. You can use any brush of any kind and go through the same areas where you just sprayed your dry shampoo or your hairspray okay. and hold up a little section of your hair and take your brush and bring it down. Okay. And that's called teasing. See how much volume there already is? And the important thing with teasing is that you want to go down on the brush. You don't want to spring it back and forth. You just want to push your hair down to the root. And that gives you some extra volume. Here we go. Oh, look at that. 
Okay. I've always wondered how to get this pageant. Yes. Well, I mean, we're doing ideal. like that. Like, we're doing an everyday look, but I've always wondered the secrets of a pageant. Yes. And the good thing about teasing oh. and curling in general is that guess not the good thing but normally your hair will fall throughout the day and so you want to take start big and then likely it'll fall like today it's so humid I'm in Wisconsin it's really humid yeah. in Wisconsin um and so the I would have to start my hair huge for it to just look normal by the end of the day right. yeah we're but in I, New Jersey it's the same thing here with the humidity today yeah it's wild this weather's crazy okay and so now we're ready to start curling cool. so you take your curling iron and take a little bit of a section. I like to say keeping it between like one to two inches thick in your section and then start in the middle and then slowly work your way down. Oh, it slipped out. I'm a little scared because I'm using a thing called a beach waver and my mom literally just ripped it out of the package and I honestly don't Ooh. know what I'm doing. So if you oh, like to do so it. So you have to clip yours at the bottom. Yeah, my mom is gonna I do that. We're and gonna, the, we're gonna give it a go. And the good okay. thing with that kind of curler and with this kind of curler is usually you'd want to s like keep a good inch of hair outside the bottom, and it makes the curls look a little bit more natural. But as you move around your head, I like to alternate the direction that I'm curling, and so then I found that the curls don't loop together, and it makes it look like your hair is a lot thicker. You have more hair. That's such and a great for me. Thing. I have thin hair, but I have a lot of it. Yeah. And so this way of curling makes it look like it's really thick. That's so cool. My mom decided to, to not use the actual tools of the beach waver. Like, you press a button and it's supposed to do something. Oh, uh, wild. Well, well, my mom was like, Christina, she's over here like, you don't know what you're doing with that. <laughs> we needed a practice run. Yeah. That's too funny. Yeah. So we're, we're making do, but I think it's looking good. I have assistance. I don't have four hands. I have assistance. Man, I wish my life was like yours. We're over here just... <laughs> it's only like this right now. <laughs> we're, and we're so trying yeah, to prevent as you curl your like, hair, you just want to keep making sure that you're picking about the same size of sections. Yeah. It's really easy to start taking really big sections once you get to the back. But yeah. You can't really see it. Sometimes you get bored or you're in a hurry. But luckily, with this kind of method of styling, it goes by pretty quickly. And so even, um, <laughs> not that I would brag, but when I was working in New York in the office and we would have to get ready every day before going, yeah. I, ha I had my makeup and hair routine down to a science where I could do my entire hair and makeup in 15 minutes. And I was very proud of that. So you continue to work your way around your head, curling in opposite directions as you go. Yeah, right. you do it. I got this. There you go. You got this. For got sure. This. I wore my pink for Glamour Gals. And I love it. Thank you I so much. I realized I have, I don't have a lot of pink. So since I'm in Wisconsin and not in New York, all my clothes are yeah. in the city and not here. Oh, that's too funny. Well, I think it looks great. Thank you. It's my robe. So we're just kidding. Yeah, ready. I love it. I started the day with a pink robe. I don't know if you saw it, but it I funny. did. It was so cute. Thank you. I think that's good. Let's let it go. No. Oh. Yeah, so you keep working your way around your head, taking one to two inch sections, curling in different directions as you go or in alternating directions. And you also just want to leave a little bit of hair out at the bottom to make your curls look really natural. That's and at nice. first it's going to look kind of crazy or just like a little bit too curly cued, but that's okay because we're going to brush it out at the end. That sounds good. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about what your favorite part about working in PR is? Yeah, I love it. So I'm actually working at a PR firm in this city called Small Girls PR. And what I do is I work on the digital team. And so I work in influencer marketing where we work with nationwide brands to develop social media campaigns. Yeah. And I love it. I actually went to school for journalism and have always loved telling stories and I've really enjoyed taking that love and that passion and being able to tell stories for brands through influencers. So it's really creative. It's analytical. It's um, very collaborative too. We have an 
amazing community in our office where everybody is encouraging everyone and everyone is helping each other out at brainstorms. And so it's kind of like an all hands on deck um, company, but it's really great. We have a great team. That's incredible. That's so exciting. Yeah, I know. I was like, she definitely has to tell um, about that because there are so many girls there. They're in high school or maybe they're in college. Maybe they don't know what their major is. And so it's great to hear that you did journalism and then you went into PR and doing that side of um, PR, which is influence marketing. I think that's a really cool um, way to go about that. Yeah, I, I've loved it. It's so great. And like you said, when I went to college, I, I like I studied how to be a broadcast journalist and how to be yeah. a local news reporter all through school. And even though I'm not working in broadcast news, I'm taking a lot of those skills that I learned through college in this position that I genuinely didn't even know existed before I started job searching. So don't stress if you, <laughs> you don't know what your next steps are, especially now being graduation season. Exactly. Okay, here, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this thing. Yeah, you're working. working. You have more hair than I do. Yeah, it, I feel like I need a whole nother. Um, I never really curl my hair because it does take so long. It, it doesn't really hold a curl for very long. Um, I would mm -hmm. probably need oh, like a lot of hairspray. Um, oh, but this yeah. thing actually seems to be really doing a good job with the curling. And, yeah. and it's, it's definitely it's, staying for sure. Yeah. The test says we'll have to check in with you in like an hour and see what it looks like. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So as you can see, we're just working our way around my head. And the way that I like to do it is I like to start on the left side of my face. Just because you do that. What is the... I change my part a lot. And so this allows it to move either way. But then also, instead of curling it back like you normally do it would kind of pull the bangs down and you would lose a little bit of this volume so curling it back like this keeps the roots really lifted oh that's so cool oh a cruise 21 said love the curls <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, good. okay and so now i know i'm very speedy but we made our way around our head and I'll before you do it. anything before you touch it you're gonna spray it with hairspray like you've never sprayed hairspray before in your life <laughs> okay and then another trick I like to do is to take your fingers and like spread them out a little bit and pull them up and spray all around. What was that? Tip? You take your fingers and you spread them out like this and pull your hair up and spray the underneath part. And again, this helps keep your volume. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll try that over here. <laughs> And then similar to the dry shampoo that we did at the beginning, you don't want to touch it until your hairspray dries. Okay. So you're just going to hang out for a sec. Okay, well, then we have another chance to ask another question. Um, so as a former Miss Georgia, um, you must be very familiar with, hot, with all things glam. So how do you do hot pink chic? It, honestly, it depends on my day, and it depends on the kind of event that I'm going to. So for work, I think there's something really chic. I love a blazer, and so anytime I can wear, like, ripped jeans with a blazer and heels is super chic and really cute. And then if I'm going out, you know, to a nice dinner with my friends, dressing it up with – I wear a lot of black, and that's probably just because yeah, I, I live in New York. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and so just, like, wearing really chic colors that, you know, complement each other and ex with, with simple but very eye-catching accessories. That's what I like to do. Oh, I love that. That sounds so great. Um, and so – what what do you do each day to make you feel your best and your most confident self? Yeah, I think affirmations are so important when it comes to making yourself feel comfortable and feel confident. And so it's telling yourself things that, it, you know, if you're not feeling good about a certain element of your body, using very neutral um, affirmations is something that I found to be really helpful. And so instead of saying things like, I don't know, like my legs are the best things ever you could just say I have legs and then you're acknowledging something about yourself that you have and that your body is capable of doing um and then outside of that I really love affirmations for anything of saying like I can take on any challenge that I face today or you know whatever it is that you're struggling with or challenging that's challenging you in your life is just like attacking it head on and saying that you know what I can get through this I can do this I, I got this Oh my gosh, no, I love that. That's so good. I um 
Yeah, I do like affirmations too. I think it's it's a nice reminder to yourself. Um, and sometimes you just need that little boost. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Confidence. Yeah, I have one hand on and one not. But <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so now that the hairspray is kind of dried enough, this okay. is what you got to stand up for this phase. Okay. You're going to flip All your hair over. Okay. If you have room, you're going to flip your hair over. I can stand up that. Like Yep. Okay. And then you're going to take your hair, your hands, and just go like this. Okay. And then flip your hair. <laughs> I hit all the balloons. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So keep in mind, I didn't curl the back, but I really, wow, this is really cool. My mom's like, yeah, this looks good. I'm gonna it does look good. I like your curling iron. Thank you. I know, right? And then my last little tip I have before it's all done is you take your curling iron and then you take just tiny little pieces around your face and wand them around your iron. And again, this just adds a little bit more texture to your hair. Sorry, my uh, I accidentally hit the button and they started to curl on my curling iron. So just, <laughs> if, you, if you get this curling iron, just, just be careful. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. It does. If you press this button, which I did, it um, it will uh, do what it wants. <laughs> and so you just take tiny little pieces around your head okay. and curl them, wand them around. And this is really helpful to break up the curls. Oh, that's a good so idea. So it looks a little bit beachy. It looks a little bit messy. Because the thing about hair, and it took me a long time to learn how to do hair, is that it will have a mind of its own. And some days you just can't control it. Yeah. And so you just have to, like, go with the flow. Exactly. That's why I feel like I kind of get stuck in my ways of how I do my hair. Because um, I often am the one doing it myself, and I often don't have a lot of time. But I right. feel like once you learn how to do something like this, like... Now that I've gone through this with you, I would feel more confident to try it before something. Because I, I see how it will look. I see, I feel comfortable because I've, like, talked through it with someone. And I know that I can actually achieve it. Oh, there you go. You see, there's the, <laughs> you got to be careful. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is so much fun. I really like how this looks. It looks so good. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So, do we do all the steps? That's it. And then you spray it with hairspray again. And then if, like, this is maybe a little bit too curly for my liking. And so I would yeah. take my fingers and just finger comb through it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'll have to finish the back after the, after this. But I really am excited yeah. that I was able to do this. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, before you go, just what is one piece of advice that you have for all of our volunteers that are watching at home or checking out the replay? Yeah, I think one thing that's super important to remember is that everything happens for a reason and any challenge that you're presented is presented to you knowing that you can handle it. And sometimes you just have to bet on yourself. And I think that's my biggest piece of advice. Well, you know what? I love that. And you know, what? actually, before you go, I just want to show you something real quick. My mom with this up in the kitchen, she has been very, very concerned that the Glamour Gals volunteers are not going to have some pink treat ideas for their oh, pre glammies mocktail hour. So we have some ideas. So I figured I'll bring them on while you're still on so we can yes. show them. Off. Okay, here we go. She has been hard at work. And oh my gosh, those are beautiful. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go through them one by one real quick. So this is actually um we got this at the Dodge County Farmers Market. I'm not gonna taste this because I know we've had this in our house and I know that it's not uh, fresh, but we keep it as a prop in case we ever need it. So this is, um, it's basically kettle corn and they add in a little bit of pink, uh, pink coloring. And so if you think that might help. Yeah, you, can see <laughs> you got the blogger stance. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that is one um, way you can do that. So then these actually so simple. These are just Oreo cookies. What vanilla, the vanilla, where is the light? There we go. The vanilla, you can also do chocolate. Come on, there we go. There we go. Um, and you just take like a pink, um, yeah, decorator icing and you just yeah, decorate the top. I think it's Yum. better back here. Yeah, and you just it's roll around. And then she added pink uh, sugar on the top. Then this, mom, what did you do with this? 
Oh, that's just Sprite with just Sprite uh, with cherry. Cherry like grenadine? Cherry or no, juice. you just go oh, just yeah. cherry juice? Oh, okay. So this is just Sprite and she put in a little cherry juice from like like a Shirley Temple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then this, last but not least, what did you do, mother? Vanilla pudding. Vanilla pudding? Coloring. Food coloring? Yeah. Red food coloring. Red food coloring and then a little bit of cream so and nice parfait. And some uh pink sugar on the top to make a nice parfait. So amazing. You're set. I'll share some with you, Annie. Cheers. Cheers. I have my water. Cheers. Right? Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for joining me. And um, honestly, this was such an amazing, amazing segment. I'm so happy. Honestly, I love my hair right now. And um, you are incredible. I can't wait to keep following everything you're doing. Everyone go check Likewise. out her blog. Hey, thank you. It's um, it's AnnieJ.com. Check that out. Go follow her at Annie Jorgensen. It, uh, her username is pinned in the comments. And thank you all so, so much for watching. If you missed anything, you can check out the replay. Um, and after this, I'm going to do a quick sign off. But I've had so much fun uh, throughout this day. And thank you, Annie, for joining me. Yeah, and thanks for having me, Christina. Of course. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>